Hello, my name is Pallavi and I'm the product manager for Ram Migrations. In this video, Pavel, the product owner for Migrations, and I are going to showcase how to migrate from platforms such as CentOS and Oracle Linux to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Before I introduce the migration tooling, let's walk through the value of a RAL subscription. There are several reasons why Red Hat Enterprise Linux is the ideal platform for your enterprise workloads. First, it is a stable, secure operating system that comes with government and private security certifications. Red Hat has a rich ecosystem of hardware and software vendors who certify their hardware and applications on and for RHEL. RHEL is certified to be used as a guest or host on several major cloud platforms. RHEL is built and tested as a single cohesive unit, unlike other platforms that are just derived from RHEL sources. When it comes to management and automation, RHEL has an extensive set of utilities that simplify the administration process. For instance, RHEL provides in-place upgrade tooling that helps users upgrade across major as well as minor versions of RHEL. This greatly reduces the maintenance windows and cost. RHEL users can also live kernel patch their systems without having to reboot. RHEL comes with several graphical user interface based tools that simplify the experience for new system administrators, as well as non-routine tasks for, ex for experienced admins. More recently, Red Hat Insights has been tightly integrated with RHEL. Insights proactively scans the deployment environment for vulnerabilities, configuration changes, and monitors based on a set of predefined rules. This helps eliminate risk and brings peace of mind. What further differentiates RHEL is its predictable cadence of releases as well as a fixed life cycle. Bearing in mind the value add that comes with the RHEL subscription, let's talk about the migration process. The migration process from CentOS and Oracle Linux is simplified with the Convert to RHEL utility. Convert to RHEL offers a single automated process for migrating systems to RHEL without the need for redeployment. Ideal use case for such conversions are if you're transitioning your, deploy your development environment on CentOS to a production environment on RHEL, or if you're transitioning production workloads currently running on CentOS or Oracle Linux to production environments on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The utility reduces the migration overhead and cost. Supported conversion paths are from CentOS or Oracle Linux 6 to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6, CentOS or Oracle Linux 7 to RHEL 7. When, when you are ready to migrate your systems onto RHEL, we recommend that you engage Red Hat services for a streamlined migration effort. Alternatively, you could self-convert by downloading the Convert to RHEL utility from the unsupported Extra Packages for Enterprise Linux repository or EPO repo. Pavel will now demonstrate how the Convert to RHEL utility works. Thank you, Pavel. Hello, this is Pavel. And today I'm going to show you how to convert your system from CentOS to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. We are going to start the conversion by running the convert to rel utility. For this demo, we want to the debug option for livelier console output. Also, we are going to disable subscription manager so that we can use a repository mirror. This can be a local mirror or for example, satellite See the link in the description for more information about how to use convert to rel at scale with satellite. Finally, we are also going to acknowledge all questions with yes, 
similarly how the fly argument works in YAM. With Eula having been accepted, the tooling will now check available repositories and packages. System parameters and critical packages, like the kernel, need to be adjusted before the conversion and the tooling is going to take care of that now. Current kernel is now being replaced with Red Hat Enterprise Linux kernel and other kernel related packages. With the kernel out of our way, user space CentOS packages are now going to be replaced with Red Hat Enterprise Linux packages. As a last step, we just need to reboot the system. The conversion is now done and we are in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Systems converted to RHEL using this process and with a valid Red Hat subscription are automatically eligible for support by Red Hat. Our standard third-party policy applies for packages that are not signed by Red Hat. For more information about ConvertRL, visit our documentation and blogs, or alternatively, contact Red Hat Services. Thank you for watching.